What hasn't changed about the 2018 Lincoln Navigator is this, it's still gigantic. Lincoln lifts the shortest and lightest version of this body on frame beast at 210.0 inches long and one offensive tackle shy of 3 tons hefty. The long wheelbase Navigator L with all-wheel drive comes in at 221.9 inches and well over 6,000 pounds. Ford builds some super-duty pickups and commercial trucks that are heavier, and during World War I it knocked out for engine B24 bombers to defeat fascism, so this isn't the biggest Ford product ever. But it sure isn't small. And, like Ford F-Series light, and heavy-duty pickups and the B24, this new Navigator features a body made mostly of aluminum. The switch from steel body construction saves about 200 pounds over the 2017 version, depending on model, Lincoln says. And that's despite fractional growth in most dimensions over its predecessor, which was introduced in 2007. The 2018 Navigator is available in four trim levels ranging from the short wheelbase, Rear wheel drive $73,250 Premier, which rides on 20-inch wheels, through the select and reserve models on 22S, up to the black label, which also gets 22S. And all-wheel drive. Long wheelbase black label L starts at $98,100. Hit the options list aggressively and the black label L will easily vault past $100K. Like General Motors. Then, or doesn't seem shy about asking the same money you'd pay for a Mercedes-Benz GLs 450. While the rest of the Lincoln line was being renamed with various letters, the Navigator remained the Navigator. Now there's a Continental, too. Those model names are probably stronger lures for buyers than at the Lincoln mark itself at this point, just as Escalade carried more weight than Cadillac. It's fair to assume that this big, ridiculously comfortable truck is among the most profitable things that the Ford Motor Company built. It was overdue for replacement. And the automaker didn't screw it up.